have two. She's just the most friendly one right now. Okay, this is Pixie. And she, now she's Pixie, gone. There she goes. We're actually down about three billion birds in our lifetime alone. It's from the X number of billions that should be out there. There are things called bird counts. There are citizen scientists and there are actual scientists who are there watching bird flocks and migrations and counting birds. Chicago, as I understand it, is among the better cities for lowering the light that attracts the birds to commit hairy feathery. <laughs> um, yeah, so we, we do have an amazing program. I don't know if any Chicagoans have noticed that the skyline is a little bit darker in the spring and fall seasons because of the Lights Out program that the city partakes in to make sure that we don't attract extra birds. We have so many birds that fly through our flyway. We're on the Mississippi Flyway because of Lake Michigan. By turning the lights off in buildings like the Sears Tower and other big targets, so to speak, we're actually helping the birds get through downtown as opposed to having that be their final destination. We do know that it works. We know because we have organizations like the Bird Collision Monitors. Bird Collision Monitors are a group of volunteers who respond to bird collisions either by walking through the streets of downtown Chicago, starting at four to five in the morning up until about 9.30, looking for birds that have hit these buildings and they respond to phone calls. So we have records and data of the collisions that happen in Chicago, so much that we can actually identify particular trouble buildings. A great example of a success story of this is actually at Northwestern University. They partnered with the Chicago Bird Collision Monitors, the American Bird Conservancy, and Bird Friendly Evanston to monitor their buildings. And they actually found a particular building that was causing the most amount of bird collisions during migratory season. They retrofitted their windows with a film that basically makes glass seem like the obstacle and barrier that it actually is for birds. The window film that they put in reduced collisions by 95%. If someone hears a loud thump or observes a bird hitting a building, an injured bird, they can actually do something. Oh, yes, they can, and they should. For those of you in the Chicagoland area, you can call the Chicago Bird Collision Monitors. The number is 773 988-1867. Now it's important to call, not to text, and definitely leave a voicemail because we get hundreds of calls. I hear a thump, I go get a bird. What are my chances of being useful to that bird? The best thing you can do, assuming you might not even be able to reach a collision monitor, is to take that bird, put it into a nice paper bag with like some paper towels at the bottom or even a like a cardboard box something that's breathable and get it into a dark quiet place it's incredible how birds will recover if they are not under stress and in many cases having the bird just recover for a few hours will save its life being a bird collision monitor is not only a really good thing to do for the bird population in general it will help to reduce the loss of birds in the country but as i understand it can be of significant scientific utility first of all the bird collision monitors are literally monitoring birds. We have a significant amount of data of what birds are passing through Chicago. One of the collision monitor stories is about a bird that was found actually tagged, and then that bird was found next migration season, literally hitting the same side of the same building the next year. Whether you're a collision monitor or not, helping the collision monitors allows you to be a citizen scientist, even in a situation where the bird doesn't make it. We want those birds. You want to call and let us know that you have a dead bird because we provide all of those birds to the Field Museum. They have a study that they've been doing since, I believe, 1978, collecting samples of these birds that have hit buildings and measuring their wingspan and I think a few other factors to see if there's any impact on birds 
from climate change. Obviously, much more to be learned about birds and bird science and how it relates to climate change. And anyone watching this video right now can contribute to that body of knowledge by calling once again that number, this number Chicago right here. Bird here. Monitors. And by the way, I don't care if you're all the way up in Highland Park. We'll still come out to you. <laughs> All right. Listen, thank you so much and happy birding. Oh, my pleasure.